Hello boys and girls and welcome back for yet again another let's build this time just bringing you a normal let's build I decided to go over the top and with this series I plan to build a real life structure but of course convert it into Minecraft this is an absolutely amazing sleek house designed in LA by an architect team called SWAT that's S W A double T if you can't spell and these architects, I'm giving them credit because they fully deserve it and they are absolutely amazing designers. Some of the projects that they have built are just amazing. I saw the pitch and I was like, I'm going to have to build that. That is completely kick ass and that's definitely going to have to happen. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to get out some sandstone. You're going to see why in a second. We're building this kind of like little halfway stairway kind of down into the build because I thought in my previous videos I don't give enough depth in my let's builds so I was like right one thing that we do need to do here is add some more depth to the build because we'll make it look more interesting more realistic and more appealing for you guys when you come onto your world server and see the home map which of course is going to be the best part about it just looking at the exterior details so you're just going to want to dig through here and we're just going to come down here just one slab, like so, like that. And unfortunately, there is a part of this build which uh, you guys are not gonna like. Uh, whoops, I think I've done this wrong. <laughs> yes, I have. I've had a bit of a spastic moment there. Okay, all right, let's just sort this out quickly. Yeah, so there's one part of this build that you're not gonna enjoy, guys, <laughs> and that is uh, see, I'm gonna mark out a plot in a minute, and that is um, because this build is built on a plot size thing and that's just going to be for our front garden area just due to this build being so insanely large and overly detailed it's probably going to come to something ridiculous like um, maybe 12 parts or something like that crazy it's going to be absolutely mad but I've always wanted to do stuff like this because I usually go on maybe 4 parts maybe 5 parts of the most but I was like why don't make it like a 12 part video it's going to be absolutely insane hugely detailed massive property maybe I'll do one video just literally cinematic it I know an awesome guy uh, called Ender Workshop he's on YouTube he's got about 1000 2000 subscribers the guy deserves a lot of credit he's a one of the best uh, cinematic artists I've ever seen and um, yeah I could get him to do a cinematic of this build for my channel and by the way guys you can just see me marking out the blocks now uh, if you do get stuck with measurements, uh, I'm always friendly, don't be uh, <laughs> scared to ask, just drop a comment down below if you're stuck on any part of the build or measurements wise, uh, and I will get around to you and help you guys out with that. So, hmm, is this long enough? I think this is about long enough. Alright, uh, so now we can start building the side. Let's go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Yeah, sorry, my mouse is glitching out a bit today. Whenever I seem to record, for some reason, my Corsair M45, I believe, uh, which is a brand new mouse I recently purchased, absolutely love it. But, uh, seems to glitch out quite a lot. I don't know why, but it just happens a lot recently. It's quite strange. It just decides to go like doing 720s and stuff, it thinks it's an acrobat. Alright. So. I'm not sure if this is going to be long enough for the garden, but I'm just going to fly around and check out some stuff just to see if it should be. I think it should be about right. Okay, so within this like rectangular area, what we're going to do is just, of course, finish this build off. So you guys, if you get stuck with any measurements, can see what clearly is happening here. And uh, which basically we're going to just drop this by two in height. Hi guys and welcome back. So I have to say I do apologise for uh, asking you to clear all of that. That was extremely annoying to clear. Of course if you do have a world edit, uh, you probably know how to use it and you can just go, you know, slash slash whatever and you can remove a selected square choosing the width, uh, height and you know all that good stuff. 
by the way guys, I did uh, have a little bit of a mistake in the first video, I switched off for a second and um, I did do the staircase design wrong, so if it is wrong, it should look like this, uh, the correct way, as you can see. So I'm just going to fill this in now, there's no real need to do the underneath, and this is uh, just for the front garden, but I think we should have a little bit of an extension just before it drops down to the lower part of this build, because one thing that I did, that I do lack in most of my builds is depth. I like to build just flat learn worlds. Uh, simply because it's the easiest and easiest to follow for let's builds but I just wanted to add a little bit more depth in this build just to give it an overall cooler look of course this is going on my PMC as well so that was another reason if you do want to check out my planet minecraft go check my channel out and there's a link straight on there also be sure to subscribe because um, I'm really aiming for 2k and this year if I do not make it in YouTube then I'm just gonna stop which will be really sad to quit something that's uh, been going for about a year now and doing so well so please uh, help me make that happen so what you're going to want to do now is just get out some bone mill just to fill this area in you don't have to be precise just every couple of blocks just place it down and you'll just create a nice little bit of greenery outside your house which will improve the general look now if you do go over and see any dodgy parts that do look a bit annoying uh, of course get rid of them so if you have too many like of the same plant next to them just it's just general Minecraft fault so of course do that uh, right now of course I'm just placing down some hay because this is like a an American themed like a uh, huge LA you know multi-million pound sleek house and of course uh, it doesn't rain much there so that's why we're going with like a little strawy look um, just to improve the look of the build and make it look a tad more realistic so as you can see, it looks pretty cool. What we're going to do now is just add a few ferns around there. Just probably one of the best looking plants on Flo's HD. I absolutely love them. They're so awesome. So we're just going to place a few of these around just to you know, make it look a little bit nicer. Yeah, like delete any plants you think shouldn't be there because they make the, look, look, the, <laughs> the build look bad. I'm just losing my words here. Let's go quickly change the time capital logs conveniently on the one annoying thing you know when you're trying to like play with minecraft and stuff keep hitting capital logs it really does suck i don't know if that happens to you guys or it's just me because i'm a complete idiot <laughs> but it just seems to happen to me all the time all right so I just remove the final few uh, plant blocks that you don't think should be there and let's get start on the actual build itself so just go down here what we can do is just get out some stone and we can make uh, like a nice little front entrance because of course I'm not sure what I'm really supposed to be doing here I just want to make something that looks cool you know it tries to suit the build that I'm aiming to do here but of course I'm making my uh, own tweaks just for Minecraft so if you just go places here just a long and guys I'm gonna cut the commentary in a minute I do apologize for this and I'm just going to add some music in the background but at the moment I'm voicing over I recorded this part of the video which was 26 minutes long and I use Audacity which is a free software very very good sound recording quality it's just Fraps doesn't quite give you that edge in sound quality and with Audacity if you record your, uh, your voice is just a separate file you just get a little bit more better uh, like clarity as you could tell in my uh, previous videos they wouldn't have sounded as crisp as loud and as good so that's why I use audacity and also I can remove that annoying fan noise that you may have noticed from the background unfortunately I clicked record and for some very very weird reason it didn't record my volume and I don't really want to voice her for another 26 minutes of me just playing back a video uh, because this uh, let's go is pretty quick and straightforward and you guys should be able to follow it pretty well so I displayed everything nicely of course if you always do get stuck don't be afraid to just drop a comment down below I'll be within your reach uh, within 24 hours I'll go reply to you and help you out with the bill now, of course part two of this uh, let's build will be out tomorrow guys I'm gonna finish my recording here make sure to please 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 like comment subscribe definitely subscribe uh, to help me reach my youtube goal of 2000 subscribers it will be highly appreciated and i'll catch you guys in part two 
Hope you enjoy the music. It's by approaching Nirvana, copyright free if you want to use it in your own videos. And everything that you could possibly think of is linked down below in the description. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of this last build.
Hello guys, so thank you for watching. I do apologize for the audio problems during the video. It was kind of crap, but you know, we got around it. We added some cool music and it kind of worked. So I just want to remind you guys, please do like, comment, and definitely subscribe. It will help my channel out so much and I appreciate every subscriber that does subscribe. And part two will be coming out tomorrow, so please do stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in my next vid. Thank you for watching.